Hey everyone, my name is Andrea DeVries. I'm a junior here at Oxy, um, and I'm currently abroad in Paris. I did already ma previously make one video just a day around Paris, um, and today I kind of want to explain to you what it's like to balance school in another country and traveling. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you around my day, and I'll kind of explain it as I go. classes there and then two classes at a French university um, so I'll show you the building it's pretty cool so it's on this street and it's my favorite street in Paris it's in the second and all this small which is it's for the cinema area super cool super beautiful so this is the main area the classrooms offices the main entrance computers printing um, this area to do homework, hang out, eat food, kind of whatever you need, and then um, other things for food, all that. Bathrooms, other offices. It's a small space, but there's not a ton of us, so it's like good and cozy, it's perfect. It's right in the center of the city, which is awesome. Alright, so right now I'm going to work on some homework. I have lots to do, but first, got to start the day like a French person and have an espresso. Lunch break in between doing schoolwork. This is Shannon. She's from GW in Washington, D.C., yeah. and she's in my program as well. So, how do you manage to balance schooling but also traveling and exploring? Yep. I would say it's definitely about sort of planning. Um, you know, we're here for school, so you definitely have to make sure you get your schoolwork done. So, for me, I just kind of look at when my exams are, when my, my papers are yeah. due, and kind of plan around that. If I know I have like a big week coming up and I have a bunch of work, I'm probably not going to plan a weekend trip right before. Um, I might just stay in Paris, explore a little bit, yeah. and make sure I get my schoolwork done. Um, and then if I finish something and I have the time, then it's, you know, just go and spend a bit more spontaneous trips yeah. and plan that way. I think it's definitely about kind of prioritizing school but then remembering that you're abroad and you really have to take advantage so also planning yeah. trips within that as well perfect yeah. thank you and this is my class say hello i just have to make a, a small video for my campus i'm just showing what life is like abroad this is a cie -E course there are just a couple of us it's about the size of some oxy classes but yeah the french class the best class Mm -hmm. All right, so I did just finish school. I'm gonna hop on the metro and head back home I'll be having dinner soon with my host mom and then I do have to finish an essay due by tomorrow Now that I'm home I got back home I ate dinner with my host mom now I have time to talk for a minute about um, About schoolwork and traveling so balancing schoolwork and traveling isn't easy um, It takes a lot of organization. I would say that I suggest getting to where you're going going to class and figuring out when things are due, mapping it all out, and then planning your trips. Um, for example, I got here at the beginning of September and I sat in class and my first three weekends in Paris, I, I stayed in Paris. 
Um, that gave me time to figure out my schedule, to plan trips. And then when I did travel, a lot of the time I stayed in hostels, so I didn't want to bring my laptop. I knew a lot of people that got their laptops stolen, and I just couldn't deal with that. So if I did further travel, which I went to about eight different countries, um, it was just learning to get a lot of the work done before I left in the week, during the week time, and then just bringing a notebook and getting it done on the plane, on the train. I mean, you do have time in those places. It's just typically you're tired, so the level of work is not as quality, I would say. Just, I mean, for everyone, it's going to be different. Everyone's classes are going to be different. Every country is going to be different. Every program is going to be different. But I would say across the board, organization, and just making realistic expectations for yourself. Like, don't say, I'm going to go and travel every single weekend. Like, it's exhausting. I traveled four weekends in a row and I was like, I need to stay in Paris and chill. Um, so I would say be realistic, be organized, um, but also enjoy it. I mean, school does come first, but the experience abroad and traveling does bring many new experiences and memories. So I would suggest it 100%. Yes, that is the advice that I have. I hope that that was helpful. Um, I will be doing one more video when I get back to the US kind of um, going over every, a lot of the stuff that I've learned and tips and tricks and things I would have done differently or things I wouldn't change at all. Um, so I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that that could be helpful um, and hopefully answer some of your questions. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time.